the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, whose music you are hearing right now. Here he is, my personal favorite wrestler when I was 10 years old. I don't know what that says about me, wrestling fans. I don't care either. The number two seed, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And here he is, maybe the greatest heel in the history of professional wrestling. Maybe the greatest heel promo in the history of professional wrestling. Maybe the greatest wrestler to never need the title belt. Rowdy Roddy Piper, Hot Rod is here in Guadalajara, Mexico, taking on Shawn Michaels. See our Portland wrestling mat, an homage to Don Owen, the territory of professional wrestling in the Pacific Northwest where Rowdy Roddy Piper got his start. He continued to work there even after making it big in the WWF. One of the myriad of reasons why I fucking love Rowdy Roddy Piper. Big uppercut early from Hot Rod here. Locked up with Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, of course. Uh, has been called the greatest in-ring performer to ever do it. Uh, you don't become a two-seed for nothing. Uh, but if you look at the two-seeds in the tournament, I think it's fair to say that uh, you kind of see that there's some, there's just a few one or two marks that, that hold them back from, from getting that one seed. When you looked at Hulk Hogan, you identified the reasons why the creative control the lack of the moveset, the lack of the drama in some of the matches. Call it what you will. With Shawn Michaels, it's the inconsistency, the losing of the smile, the unwillingness to lose a title belt, the unwillingness to work in his environment. Could not play nice in the sandbox. Notorious for it. Notorious for the drug issues, the quitting. But when he was on his game and healthy, the reality is there was no one who was ever any better than the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, building the drama of a match, working, and then flying with the moonsault as well. It was a generational leap in what wrestling fans were used to seeing on their TVs. And of course, groups like E-Generation X were incredible for a 13-year-old Greg Flynn. What am I going to say? Of course I fucking love DX. Gave the suck it sign to everyone at Curtis Middle School. <laughs> Suplex from the Heartbreak Kid. And here on Hot Rod, can't imagine it's going to it's gonna work. Hot Rod was in the main event of WrestleMania 1, teaming up with uh, Paul Orndorff to take on Hulk Hogan and uh, Mr. T. We see Hot Rod spinning around and around with a heartbreak hit. Into that suplex, great stuff from Piper. Piper's pit, his interview segment. That line you saw or heard in the intro, excuse me. That's like the greatest promo ever. As soon as they think they know the answers, I change the questions. Pile driver from the Heartbreak Kid. What an iconic line. Stomps from Hot Rod. He's been going to a pin here, and Michael's able to kick out on one. We got a ways to go here, wrestling fans. Oh, what a Larry diving into it from Michaels. Sent for a ride by Hot Rod, and then another ride flipping him over into that pin. Frank's out counting on the match, only a two count. But you can see Hot Rod landing the offense, getting the pins in here early. It's allowing him to start doing some work on Shawn Michaels. He's back into this match in a jiffy. Oh, but Shawn Michaels is up top. Elbow up top, Turbuckle! It's a Quilbo into a pit from Michaels. Hot Rod's able to kick out of that one. Locked up. Suplex from Piper. 
Dragon Michael life and body all around that Portland wrestling mat. No time from Rowdy! Michael's locked up again. Frank Miguel Cuddy must have not seen it. He would have immediately disqualified any of the Sweet 16 for such nefarious actions. Wrestling fans know there are no interruptions or rule breaking. No weapons, no run-ins. None of that uh, funny business is allowed when referee Frank McGillicuddy's at the helm of the match. Here we go, suplex from Michaels out onto the dealership floor. Michaels and Hot Rod. Our next match will fight the winner of this match in the quarterfinals. The next match is between Brett the Hitman Hart, the three seed and the six seed, Ray Phoenix. Shawn Michaels just let us all know what we can do. And now he's squaring off with Rowdy Rowdy Piper. That's not a great idea. Oh, but it's a super kick from Shawn Michaels. And in the pin here after the super kick. Careful! Rowdy just kicked out of a Michael super kick. Incredible stuff into the chokehold. Michaels is ready for it that time though. Big bump on the hot rod. Piper's days. Michaels into the ropes. Piper flips him over. And uh, now those now those jabs are coming. From Piper, those vicious strikes to the face. Oh, he's starting to go to work. Piper's starting to assert himself late in this match. Shawn Michaels needs to be careful. Uh, reverses momentum with that suplex. Punch from Michaels, and that's all it takes. Piper's dazed and confused. Oh, I think he painted Michael's in. I think he painted Michael's in there. I think Michael's returned the favor. Kick to the head. He and Hot Rod, the eye poke. Things are starting to get dirtier and dirtier between these two. We're into the corner. Kick from Michael's. Piper takes out the face. Oh, and Michael's going for the nuts. Once again, these two professional wrestlers continuing to be very interested in each other's nuts. Michaels, Piper's got him where he wants him. Pi oh, Michaels reverses it, end of the rope, lands another big lariat. Piper needs to be careful here. Oh no, what's Michaels got planned for here? Are you kidding me? Sweet Jane music for the Heartbreak Kid, Franks County, and that's right, of course it is, we are done here, Rosalind fans, Michaels wins on the Sweet Jane music, and advances to the quarterfinal of Slick Rick Sweet 16.